Well, hello there, folks. We're going full time, all time, all today, non stop. Well, we were with you at 12 o'clock, and now we're back with you at half 12. And I have a friend who's joining us in the bus. Yes, he, this gentleman does a lot of work for charity, and actually, he's going to come in. Now, we have, we have it all figured out. Social distancing is sorted. So, he's going to come in. He's going to come in the boot. He's going to come in from the back of the bus. Mark, will you come in to us? We're also having a bit of crack in the bus, folks. <laughs> this is Scuba Mark, folks. And look at him. He's in the back of the bus. Where his social uh, distancing is 100% here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip the camera around to a Mark. Okay. Mark, how are you, sir? How are we doing? I was looking for the lake. I can't find it. <laughs> so I ended up here. <laughs> Mark, it's absolutely fantastic to have you on the bus. We're going live here every day, and as I say, we're having fun. But you're having a great bit of fun yourself. What exactly are you doing with Scuba Mark is the name of your Facebook page, isn't that right? Yeah. So, uh, Scuba Mark, um, so basically I'm doing two record challenges, world record challenges this year to raise money for Project Aware. Right. Uh, so Project Aware is... A ocean conservation charity so a worldwide charity and they deal an awful lot with uh, reducing plastic in the oceans so really good uh, cause so there's two world records that has never been attempted before this has never been done of running a half marathon in full scuba gear and running a full marathon in full scuba gear so that's what I'm attempting what you have all the scuba gear on your back now you have the wetsuit on but show yeah. us what's the weight there that you're carrying so, very, don't break it no okay very heavy okay so you're you're looking at around so I've got the the regulator, which right. is what you breathe. You're not going to put that in your mouth when you're running, no? I'll, I'll put it in for the photo shoot, <laughs> but the tank will be empty, so I won't be able to breathe. All right, okay, <laughs> okay. So you have the BCD, which is the jacket. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And then you've got the, the tank at the back, wow. which is the heaviest part. God, that above. Is a very, very heavy tank. We have swim fins. You'll be using the fins running. Running with the fins. Again, this has never been done before, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> right. Um, and then, of course... Drop it down here. Okay. We have the mask. Right. I will have a wetsuit on. I'll have the hood on. I'll have the gloves on. I'll have everything. Tell me, when when are you doing your first uh, Guinness Book of Records challenge? When is this happening? So, there was a, a couple of setbacks, as people can, I'm sure, understand. Yeah. Uh, Mullingar was supposed to be the half marathon. was supposed to be in Mullingar. Yeah. So, that, that didn't work. Um, then, it was changed to Limerick. And again, that got cancelled. That was on the 3rd of May. And now I'm having to wait for the, the half marathon is up in the air. I have to figure out when that's going to be. But the full marathon will be in Dublin. Okay. And then a week later, I'll be running the New York City Marathon as well. Very good. Now, you've done this a good few times already, have you? Um... I've only done it once. Oh, I've really? I've done it once, but uh, slightly different. Last year I did Dublin. Um, and it was great response. People were fantastic. Sport was incredible. But it was just for myself. It wasn't a record or anything. Okay. I didn't have fins on. I could take the mask off whenever I wanted. Stuff like that. Whereas this year, there's a lot of different guidelines. If I take the mask off, for instance, because it fogs up. Yeah. If I take that off at any time, null and void. So I can't take any of the equipment off. I can't. And I have to use the, the, the fins as well, which... Adds a lot of uh, hardship. When did you start at this and where did you get the idea of running with... Uh, have you been in the water for a long time yourself and then came out of the water? You're like the man from Atlantis. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> um, so, uh, 2016 I became a scuba diving instructor. Right. So I teach scuba diving. I did that in uh, Thailand. And one of the things, unfortunately, you see down there is constantly plastic everywhere and you see uh, marine life uh, unfortunately eating this plastic swallowing the plastic and dying from it mm -hmm. um, as well as that there were so many times where I'd see fishing nets from trawlers that out there would just cut their nets if they got caught on anything they'd just cut them ah. it's cheaper to just buy new nets than to try and salvage them okay so those nets would come down trap marine life and they'd, they'd never get out so um yeah, from that, and I've 
naturally a love for for water and marine life anyway so uh, uh so you're an instructor so where do you instruct are you out in the lake or where are you so no i i don't instruct in ireland at all i was uh teaching the last place i was teaching was over in uh british virgin islands in the caribbean um but since i've come back i've become a student uh, in outdoor education up in gmit look it up where's gmit uh, up in castle bar oh wow yeah so up in mayo so um outdoor educate it's a fantastic course i'm getting off topic but it's a fantastic course if anyone's interested it's uh, a mixture of outdoor sports yeah so like rock climbing surfing all that kayaking and a sort of conservation side of one it. thing about ireland have we got everything in ireland or what uh, we do, we have everything and scuba diving is fantastic, the lads out at Scuba Dive West are fantastic, they're yeah. up in Mayo as well, near Letterfrack, and um, you can see some fantastic things, you can see whales, you can see dolphins, turtles, everything, you mm. can see, there's so much to see, octopus which is fantastic. Another question for you, you've yeah. travelled the world but I always say we have everything in Ireland, I mean if you, you just after saying exactly, you see all them beautiful colours, you'll see all the marine life in Ireland, I mean I've been up the coast loads and loads of times and actually I'm, a, I'm an official, uh, what would you say, I'm a, a member of the surf, of the club in down in Tremor, I'm a surf member actually, oh, very honorary, good. Very fr good. from the Midlands, like landlocked. <laughs> <laughs> no much surfing going on around here. But one question, if someone yes. wants to help you, um, how do they help the fund and how do they help uh, this charity that you are um, so, involved in? So they can find me on a number of places. Mm -hmm. They can find me on Instagram mm -hmm. at uh, Scuba Marks Adventures. They can find me on Facebook. Um, uh, just type in Scuba Marks uh, record attempts okay. and it'll come up and there's links on there to number one to the charity but also to the uh, fundraising page where they can where they can uh, donate excellent well look we're going to let you go now and look thanks very much for calling to us here in the bus we call it the bus sessions and uh, we go live nearly every day we have the shout out show now we have people joining us on the bus we're really getting as i said uh we're really getting going in the bus and it's becoming something. So look, Mark, thanks a million for coming on board the bus. We uh, look forward to seeing you in the water and do you know, maybe someday we might go swimming together. Yeah, thanks a million. Well, thank you very much, guys. Okay then, Mark, well, you better get out of the bus then. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get out of the bus? It's locked. It's locked. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> you have to be able to get out of the bus. <laughs> right, go back to this. this uh... <laughs> I'll stay here. Fine, there you are, folks. <laughs> when you get into the bus, you can't get out. Good luck. Thank you.